Well, the application for the certification of a class action on government employees' pension fund starts in a Pretoria High Court today. Well, this is the first step to hold the government employees' pension fund accountable for the unlawful amendment of the formula used to calculate civil servants' actuarial interest on resignation. Solidarity has lodged an application to act on behalf of more than 1.2 million civil servants in a bid to hold the GEPF accountable for the unilateral amendments to the formula. And joining us in studio to unpack further details on this matter is Johan Kruger, the Deputy Chief Executive of Solidarity. Well, sir, thank you so much for joining us this morning right here on NN7 and a warm welcome to Utah Studios. Well, the application for the certification of a class action on government employees over the pension funds issue starts today in the Pretoria High Court. Just talk us through more details on this class action and what is the matter at play here? That's right. It's the first of a two-step uh, process. The first is what we seek is to, to have an order from the court that we could act on behalf of a class of persons, namely uh, the more than 1.2 million employees uh, of, of the government uh, at this stage. And what we really seek to do is institute a review application, that's the second part, of that decision taken by the GEPF board to unilaterally amend the formula used uh, to calculate the actuarial interest upon resignation uh, before 55 uh, in the fund. And that's very important to, to, to see why we're seeking that review. The, the, for, the rule states that the formula uh, can be amended, but after consultation with employee organizations and the minister, um, and we're saying that none of those happen, specifically the one uh, regarding consultation with, with labor. And, and it's important to consult with labor on the amendments mm. Um, because we can try and influence the, uh, you know, the outcome. But those factors were uh, downwardly uh, amended mm -hmm. as a knee-jerk reaction sort of to try and, and, and um, boost the funding uh, levels of the, of the fund, which is already mm -hmm. more than 100% funded. But um, we're saying don't um, uh, negatively um, impact on the uh, worker um, you know, automatically. So we're saying that uh, as a result of that formula change unilaterally, you know, mm. overnight really, since 1 April 2015, people uh, who would have resigned under the previous formula now uh, walked out with thousands of rands less than they would have gotten. And we're saying no, review that decision and pay out the difference as if the previous formula um, you know, was mm. in place. Now, for a lot of people like myself who don't actually know of how the formula is supposed to be, just give us a brief overview of how the formula should be and where the amendments were made in this regard. Okay, the, the, the rule states, um, you know, that there's a formula in place. It's got um, various factors inside that formula. Two of those factors were downwardly um, amended. So it's really issues like years of service and, you know, percentages, quite technical. Um, but the effect is, is, is on ordinary people um, mm. is quite um, striking. We had the, uh, the case as an example of a, of a person that, you know, sent in his request for what was his, his, his value in the fund just before 1 April. Uh, and after April, after the, amendment, after the amendment, and he, you know, lost out on more than 100,000 rand, you know, because mm. of that um, mm. amendment. So we're saying not only on behalf of our more than 10,000 members that we're acting, but we seek to act on behalf of all those mm. employees because their unions didn't take up this issue and it's for solidarity to take it, to take it up. So we want to help everyone, um, you know, not only our own members, mm. and hopefully the court gives us, um, you know, that chance today. Yeah. Now, you're also making mention that people have lost thousands with regards to the amendments made in this particular formula. Just talk us through as to exactly what is at stake with this entire case. Well, there's a lot, of, a lot at stake. Um, uh, people have already resigned um, after this formula change. We're saying that the previous formula should, should be used and, and they, their position should be rectified, you know, as if the previous factors um, were used. So potentially all the people that, if we're successful, that have resigned before the age of 55 mm. using that formula um, can benefit because they will get more um, you know, under the, the previous formula. Um, so potentially a, a big financial impact for the fund, mm. but a big uh, worker uh, boost, you know, uh, for, for, for ordinary, um, you know, workers who have contributed throughout mm. 
and really seeks to um, you know to get the best from from the fund and we we like I said earlier don't um, you know don't penalize the worker as a knee-jerk reaction when you seek to increase the funding level of the fund mm. uh, go and invest you know properly and sensibly and seek to increase um, you know the funding um, you know mm. by doing that mm. so it's potentially a big case and at, at least um, you know, as far as we know, the first of its sort against the GEPF. Mm. Now, what could be some of the, you know, consequences on uh, the entire decision made for the formula, especially the unilateral decision to actually change this formula? What would be the consequences on that? Well, if we're successful, uh, the board must now go back and consult with Labour. Um, and, um, you know, then Labour can come and, you know, so, sort of do an arm wrestle you know, to, to seek to, to, not, to if, if those um, factors are downwardly amended, which the fund can do, um, then one can always bargain to say increase, uh, you know, increase, uh, you know, somewhere else so that the worker mm. doesn't lose, but that the fund is also protected. Mm. Um, um, so, um, yeah, at, if, at, at least, um, you know, th there must be a recalculation, um, you know, like I said, and a, and a consultation on the matter mm. with, with Labour, uh, you know, on the mm. PACBC, the bargaining council. Now, with regards to duration, how do you expect this class action to actually last? Uh, well, it, um, if we're successful now, um, probably the um, judgment will be reserved on this first leg today. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we get that, um, you know, uh, um, order soon. But secondly, the review uh, itself, um, you know, the, those proceedings can be set down probably before the end of the year and okay. argued. Um, so hopefully next year, early next year, we will, we will have a clarity on the issue mm. um, and hopefully good news. Also, thank you so much for your time and for joining us this morning right here in our studios. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you with us Thanks, this Mary. morning. Well, that was Johan Kruger, the Deputy Chief Executive of Solidarity, who's unpacking more details on the application for the certification of a class action on Government Employees Pension Fund matter, which starts today in the Pretoria High Court.